Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brian, thank you for joining in for a new video. I am very excited because today I am going to be doing a dirty pour. I'm going to use two different cups because I'm going to need about 18 ounces of paint. So I don't have a big enough cup. So I'm going to do two cups pouring on top of each other. So I'll get you down on the canvas. We'll talk about the size and the colors. All right, I will be right back. All right, everybody, I've got a 20 by 24 gallery wrap canvas. I've got it taped and push pinned in the back. It's nice and level. I'm going to put that over there to the side. My colors today, I'm using Creative Inspirations Payne's Gray. I am using uh, Amsterdam's Titanium White, and it has got uh, Deco Art Satin Enamels White. I'm using, of course, Deco Art Metallics, 24 karat gold. I'm using a new color I haven't used before. That is the Arteza Pearl Canary Yellow. I am also using Amsterdam's Permanent Green Deep mixed in with a little bit of Creative Inspiration's Light Green. Got a nice little pretty color green there. And then I am also using Folk Arts Color Shift in the color Purple Flash. All my paints are mixed with Floetrol and Liquitex pouring medium, not the Liquitex gloss pouring medium, but just regular Liquitex pouring medium. I put in two ounces of Liquitex pouring medium, two ounces of Floetrol, and about two ounces of paint. Now for this color flash, I had to add a little of the mix pouring medium uh, from Crystal Rasmussen to thicken it up because for dirty pour, I want it a little thinner than I would for like my ring pours. But this color flash stuff is very, very thin. So I added a little mixed pour to thicken it up. Everything else has got, like I said, two ounces of the Liquitex, two ounces of Floetrol, two ounces of paint, and just a couple of teaspoons of water to thin it down so it doesn't make... It still makes a mound and then a mound, but falls back in. So it's not a slow moving mound. It pops, hits the, hits the, the surface and just drips down inside. So like I said, I have a 20 by 24 canvas. So we're going to need about 17 ounces of paint. I always just round up to 18 ounces. You get that by multiplying 20 by 24, divide that by 28. You'll get 17.1 something or another. I always just round up to the next number. So I've got some 16 ounce cups. So obviously these don't need to be completely full. All right, so what I am gonna do is I am going to put, I think a little gold in the bottom. And this is actually my Dutch pour gold. So it's a little bit thinner, but that's fine. I didn't want to use my regular gold that I'm going to use in my pour. So I'm just going to pour some in here. I'm pouring up from high so that the paints will go down underneath the color of each layer. So it'll kind of churn. thinking about wrecking this too so we'll see once we get it on the 
canvas. So what did I do? I said I wasn't going to fill up my cups. Look what I've done. Oh well. Let's see what we get here. Pour a little white here in the center. I want to waste three paint. All right. right in the center of that.
flirt a little, but I'm too scared I'll fail. I wish that I could listen to the voice inside me, a voice that I'll always say. Give it a go, don't waste your time, cause you're running out. Give it a go and ask her out, only takes a try, yeah. Even if she tells you no, then at least you know, so. Give it a go, give it a go. Oh, yeah, 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 Loving it now that I've got some of this composition shifted that way. I'm getting some cells that are popping up here. This color flash and the purple, beautiful. The paint's grays through here, the white. Got the green. It's only fair we let each other go without. Okay guys, I will bring you down and I will let you see this as the wet result. Be right back. Here we go with the wet result. My heart can't take it any longer. This careless love is getting old. That gold in there and that color shift, everything's really got some glitter, shine, it's beautiful. All right guys, I'm gonna let this dry. I'll be right back and I'll show you the dried result. This really came out wonderful. I love the swoops and swishes that are in this, especially in the middle there and the top. Really came out gorgeous. I'm loving playing with greens lately. So I'll bring you up here and for a close up, we'll start in the top left. I can't wait to get this up for people to see and uh, put it up in the Christmas store. It's, I think it's gonna sell pretty quick. I'm having a lot of luck in the Christmas store. I've sold quite a few paintings and some jewelry and some coasters. So very happy about that. All right, everyone, if you're interested in this piece of art or any of my other art, you can email me directly at bryansuppervalleyartistry at gmail.com. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That'll let you know when I do post new video content. All right, everyone, have a great day. I'll see you in the next video now. Bye-bye.